A few days ago, Thrive Themes released their new Thrive Automator plugin on open beta, and you can get it by being a member of the Thrive Suite dashboard. In this video, I wanna open it up, actually give you a hands-on view on my actual website, and specifically show you four use cases I can already see myself beginning to use with this new plugin. It is seriously going to simplify a lot of the workflows, and I'd love to see what you guys think about it, all right? Let's go ahead and dive right in, and we'll start by simply installing this thing and giving you a little once over of the platform. So inside the product manager, if you're linked up to the Thrive Themes dashboard, you'll be able to come here to Thrive Automator and just say install product and install it. And it'll hook it up right now and it's a really, really fun experience. All right, now that it's installed, we're gonna go to the dashboard and simply find Thrive Automator in the list. All right, so I'm gonna come here, I see the gears and the cogs. So we'll come into the Automator dashboard and this is a very clean and simple interface. What it says is this piece of work, I love that, this piece of work, yeah, allows users to have clever automations that combine the power of all the modules of Thrive, theme, Thrive Themes Suite, but also any other tools you might be using. This is super duper cool. So this is going to be very similar to an If This Then That or a Zapier or an Integrately, any of those automation types of tools that have been around for a long time. But let me show you some really special use cases that I have jotted down here for you right now. All right, use case number one is pretty simple. It's simply to connect autoresponders. And what I mean by that is you might be using other tools like Thrivecart or SendOwl or anything like that that might connect with some of your tools, but maybe not your email autoresponder. And what's frustrating is that in before worlds like you know Thrive Automator, you would have to have every tool in your stack connect to every other tool in your stack, and it simply was not feasible. So now we can do something like the following, where a user could enroll in a course due to the maybe Thrive Cart plus Thrive Apprentice you know, connection there, and then automatically add them into a Fluent CRM tag. And if you're not <laughs> as deep in the weeds as I am, basically we have a direct integration with the uh, LMS, the course platform, but no integration on the email marketing platform. Let me show you how easy that is to set up. So here's an example to make this more clear. So inside of actual thrivecart.com is one of my accounts. You can see that I have an integration where if somebody purchases a specific product, they'll be given access to a course inside of Thrive Apprentice. Well, that's great, but I'd also want to make sure I add them to my autoresponder, right? And this is the, the problem with the old world. You go into your settings, you try to integrate to your autoresponder, and you are now at the mercy of whatever integrations that tool integrates with. And in the world of Zapier, you're going to have a whole other mess to make it all work. And it's simply not that powerful, not that robust. Now let's check out how easy this would be to connect with one that does not integrate with Thrivecart like Fluent CRM. So on my website, I do have Fluent CRM installed and I have Thrive Apprentice installed here. So that means I'll be able to do something like this. Add tag when enroll in course. So I'll come here to the when this happens. This is the trigger. And I'll say, you've got a bunch of options here. And depending on what plugins you have set up and what integrations already exist between Automator and those other plugins, you'll have different options. But here's a pretty simple example. So you can have it where a user enrolls in a course or a user purchases a course. And the difference there is simply if it purchases, it actually has to be a it, money has to have transacted. So they had to buy it through WooCommerce or bought it through Thrivecart or some or Sendal or some other platform. And that would count as a purchase. But enroll is simply some way, somehow that person got into the course, even if you chose to manually enroll them. So in general, enrolling is going to be in a more widespread uh, option there. So I'll say if a user enrolls in a course and say done next, I want to say, what course do I care about? Is it any courses? Cause right now this says user enrolls in any course in your school. No, I want to filter it down. So let's say only if, and let's scroll down here. My screen is big. So it's a little tricky to see. All right. So if the course title, which course is it, is any of the following. And this is really powerful. So it'll actually give you a list of them. You can simply go through and check off which ones you uh, want to have this automation apply for. And I'll say done. All right. So when the user enrolls in that specific course, what do you want to do? Well, you could delay and kind of create this entire automation here. But what I really want to do in this quick example is add the user to your autoresponder and give them a tag. So I'll click on this. And now this is really where some of the power comes in is 
one thing Thrive does amazingly well is integrate with even the most obscure of email marketing platforms. That's kind of their jam. I mean, Thrive Leads is one of their best products. And so here you can say, all right, which autoresponder do you want? Anything you have connected in the API section of, um, of Thrive is going to be there. So in this case, Fluent CRM, and then I can add a tag, maybe call it Ultimate Funnel Toolkit as an example. All right, and I'll say done. And just like that, in a matter of seconds, I have an automation, which is very trustworthy because as soon as the purchase is made, they're enrolled in the course, and then this happens here. Uh, that's a pretty powerful thing. Now, would I prefer a direct integration in Thrivecart? Sure, but that's just not going to be feasible with all the tools that are out there. So let me show you the how painful it could have been without Automator here. So I would have to go into Fluent CRM. I would need to go and create a incoming webhook, set one up like that, go into something like Integrately, connect into my Thrivecart account, connect into my Fluent CRM, and then create an automation. It, like, it would be a ton more work. It would take, you know, probably about 30 minutes to an hour to set up versus about 30 seconds to a minute to set up. Pretty big savings there. And also it's less tools, less price tag involved to get it done. All right, use case number two is being able to trigger special sales whenever you want to. So as an example here, I kind of put in that when the user completes a specific lesson in your course, maybe it's the last lesson, maybe it's a critical one that would lead into the next product you could have, you could create a twofer automation where on step one, you add them to a specific tag in your autoresponder. It could be ConvertKit, could be MailChimp, could be Fluent CRM, whatever you want. So it'll add them to that tag, which could initiate like a sequence, an email sequence. And that could be perfectly linked up with a timer on Thrive Ultimatum. So you could have a countdown timer that is perfectly synced up that starts as soon as they complete a lesson in your course. Now, this is pretty advanced stuff. Like this is not necessary for all businesses or really any business, but it's incredible the amount of flexibility you now have to create this customer journey. That's exactly what you want. And if you have good data and analytics, you can track it and make sure it's effective. Let me show you how easy this is to set up as well. And we can just build this on to the existing automation we have. So let me come back in here. We're going to go back over to Thrive Automator. All right, here we go. I've got this one here. All right, so let's go ahead and just save this um, one we have. This is the use case number one where they add a tag when they get enrolled in a course. And we can publish it just like that to um, let it start working. And then I can also see, I can go into edit it here if you need to. Let's do the next one. All right, so on this case, we want to have a specific automation kickoff when uh, the user completes a lesson in a course. So I'm gonna come over here to say, user completes a lesson or module in a course. That's good. Let's do that. We'll select user completes a lesson or module, say done. Next section is we wanna figure out what lesson which module we care about so that's going to be a filter let's filter down and we're going to find the module title and so these are all the different modules inside of your courses pretty cool so let's just add one as an example when they finish the planning phase maybe you have a specific uh course that goes deeper on a planning portion of whatever it is you teach so when they finish that module you want to start to create a special offer for them so what we're going to do is we're going to add them to another tag in our autoresponder. We'll select our autoresponder here. Let me get myself out of the way. And we'll say special offer. And I'll show you what you can do after this as well. So now they have a tag so they can start an email sequence. What makes that more powerful is that there's actual scarcity involved. So now we can add one more action. And we can say start an ultimatum campaign. And we'll explain that in just a second. Let me just put it in and it'll give you a list of all the campaigns you have built out so far. And we'll say done. So what have we done here? Let's kind of walk through this together. What this means is that when a specific action happens on your website, we're going to perfectly sync up a future promotional activity for your users. That means that they're going to get real scarcity. We're going to send them, hey, I noticed that you just finished this course. I hope you love it. Let me know you know, by hitting reply on this email, how you enjoyed this course and what were your biggest takeaways? That could be your first message. Then a day later it says, oh, by the way, uh, since you've just finished this message or you just finished this module, would you like to go deeper on this course? Because I see you're an action taker, you just completed this course, I wanna give you half off. But the problem is it is going to expire in 72 hours. 
you can create that type of a flow using ultimatum and any autoresponder like that. That is very powerful. And to pull this off normally is extremely complicated. So to be able to do this with a very simple if this then that type of setup is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and give this a name and we'll call this special two day campaign. And then what we could do, we can kind of uh, think about other actions. Maybe you want to delay by another two days and you can, you know, continue this guy as much as you want to, but we're going to get into future use cases. So let's not do that. And look at that. You also have the ability to remove users from the course, which is pretty cool here. So this is actually a remove user from course section. All right, let's cancel that one and let's go to the next use case. So use case number three is having sequential courses in your school. So a lot of people don't want to have this massive gargantuan course where you get in and you're immediately overwhelmed. So what you could do is you could chunk your signature course down into smaller bits. And in order to kind of force people along the pro progression, you could set up something like this, where if a user completes course A, like maybe the first portion of your course, you want to maybe give them a delay of a couple of days. Maybe that's synced up to an email sequence and then automatically enroll them into course B and then potentially, you know, kick off any more email sequences, right? Like you can do a bunch of different things here. So let's show you how this could work, how you could have people walk through your university kind of step by step. Let's dive in and build this automation. So let's go here again. We're going to add a new automation and let's start with a trigger. Instead of being enrolled in a course, we want to say, once again, user completes a lesson or module in a course, and we'll say done. Now, I would like this to have um, a trigger of user completes all lessons in a course. I didn't see that here. That might be one I'll send into their feedback. Uh, but honestly, if you get to where they finish the last lesson of your course, let me give you an example of a last lesson that we can use here. Uh, that's probably going to be plenty good. So let's say in my example, we're going to go into Freaky Fast Funnels, one of the trainings that I have, and I'm going to come down here to content. Let's just find test and go live. Okay, so this is the last module, and then here's the last uh, lesson of that module. So how to test what can go wrong. I'm going to find that lesson inside the automation and have that trigger um, the next course to be unlocked. Okay, let's do that. So we'll add another action. Once again, we're going to filter down and then select the field. We can do course title, module title. Cool. What is that this? Look at that. Okay. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. We want to find a specific lesson, but you probably could filter down to course as well. So we'll get rid of that one. We'll do a filter that the lesson title is what to do. Let me find it again. How to test. Okay. So we'll call this how to test what can go wrong. Boom, right there found the lesson in just a second, say done. Okay. So now once they complete that lesson, what do you want to have happen? Maybe we want to wait for a day just to show you that functionality or wait for a couple of days. And then if you want to keep track of everything, you could add them to your autoresponder, your email marketing platform, but we've already done that. So I'll, I'll spare you that one. But now I want to enroll them into another course. And now we're going to find the course here. And let's say we want to add them to funnel by number as an example, say done. And just like that, you've now created a drip, like kind of like a drip, but an even more powerful drip because there's way more uh, flexibility in how it's administered, where they can kind of go through your entire process in whichever way you want them to. That is pretty cool. All right, let's find one more use case. Okay, this one is super powerful and I have not seen any other tool be able to pull this off in how Thrive has set it up. So this is one is where you're going to kind of promote them into a premium course once they've completed the free lessons that are included. So Thrive has a rather unique ability for within the same course, offer some courses at, or some lessons as free previews and other lessons being in the main core product that they have to pay for. So what you could do here is you get create a trigger where once the user completes all the free lessons inside of a course, you could once again, add a tag in your email autoresponder, launch a scarcity campaign through Thrive Ultimatum and launch that sequence to sell the full course. So let's see how we'd set this one up as well. Pretty stinking easy. Let's go in and just get back out of here. We'll add a new one. 
and let's go here. Let's find what we got here. So we've got user completes all free lessons in a premium course. That's a pretty niche <laughs> uh, trigger there. I like it. So, all right, we'll add that trigger. Once again, we'll filter down to the course we, we care about. And let's say, and as an example, inside this mini workshop, there could be a free preview as well as a paid, um, you know, paid portion of the course. And then we could tag them in our autoresponder. Let's just, okay, let's tag in here, create a specific tag for this section of our process. Okay. Uh, we'll call this, um, free lessons completed. And then we could launch into a scarcity campaign just like that. And then what I would also want to do in this case, all right, so now what happens here, let's just walk through this. They complete the free lessons, uh, of our specific course. We add them to a, a trigger, a, a tag inside our email autoresponder, and we give them a countdown timer to promote the next course. All right. So what would you do next? Let's save this and finish it and publish that automation. Then the next thing I'd want to do, um, let's call this free to premium course. What I would next want to do is have the follow-up built in fluent CRM or in our autoresponder. So let's find that tag we just met, mentioned for free lessons completed is the tag that we're going to use here. So what you'd next want to do is come into your autoresponder where are we at here and go to automations create a new one. And in this case, we'll use a tag being applied. We'll call this, uh, this automation is going to be free to premium promotion. We'll say continue. All right. And then you get to select the tag. Boom. Oh, there you are. Well, I haven't made the tag yet in this in fluent CRM. So it's going to kind of, all right, let's make a tag real fast. Go into contacts, go to tags, we'll create a tag and just paste that in. All right. The tag is created now inside of our automation. We will go into our automation and let's set that tag again, free lessons completed. All right. So what we're saying here is that when that tag is applied, which is applied from Thrive Automator, remember, uh, we will start this automation. And from here, you could send a specific email, you could set a, a email sequences, and you can tie all this together with uh, your Thrive Ultimatum campaign, which, um, which just creates so much possibility here for good marketing practices. All right, last thing I want to do is we've kind of been talking a lot about courses, but if you're not a course seller, you're not, you know, out of luck. We also have triggers for things like users log into their account. So you could have, you know, a, a workflow around the top of my head where for the first time that a user logs into an account, you could set them on, you could send them a custom email saying, Hey, thank you so much for logging in. Give me some feedback. You could also set up something inside of WooCommerce. I added WooCommerce to the site just for this demonstration where you could say, Hey, when when they purchase a specific product, you could then enroll them. Well, you wouldn't really want to do that, but a lot of things you could do with WooCommerce, uh, specifically around email autoresponders that may not integrate with Woo on, um, you know, right, right up front. All right. They also have a log section over here where you can see how things are working. So I'll make sure that I have a full on, uh, you know, follow through with this video showing you it in action. But I just wanted to really open up what happens inside of Thrive Automator. If you would like to try this for yourself, um, I will let you know this is in beta. So from what I've seen, I haven't found any bugs, but I would say that the functionality is still a little bit limited. Uh, but if you want to give it a try, you have to be a Thrive Suite member. And I would love if you would use my affiliate link, which is down below. It's just unbeatabletech.com slash Thrive Themes, and you can sign up. This is a huge value. And it's not there yet, but I could see it get to the point where it could replace the need for things like, like Zapier and Integrately. Uh, knowing Thrive, they do a pretty good job when they build out their new products. And I see this one trending in a very nice way. All right, I hope this video is helpful. If it was, leave a like, subscribe, the bell, all that fun stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.